Bienvenue, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of Hockey Bar. I'm your host, Tiernan Smith. Thank you for tuning in today. So today's news starts in Seattle, where the 32nd NHL team has been awarded this week, and renovations on Key Arena in downtown Seattle began yesterday following the official announcement of the team's addition. The project is privately funded renovation of $700 million U.S. million, as is expected to be completed in 2021. This is the first time the arena has been renovated since 1995, where the Seattle Supersonics of the NBA played there. The arena is intended to be made in a way to be the most ideal sports arena in the world, rivaling both T-Mobile Arena and in Las Vegas, Nevada, and of course Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan. The arena will also take the name of Seattle Center Arena upon completion. Next up, Maple Leafs forward William Nylander is expected to play in tonight's home match against the Detroit Red Wings. Nylander has not yet played the season with contract disputes as a restricted free agent that began following the 2017-18 season end. This past weekend, Nylander signed a deal with the Maple Leafs for over $40 million for a six-year contract. Tonight's game will be his first since Game 7 of the Stanley Cup playoffs this past April. In smaller news, a trade was done last night between the Ottawa Senators and the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Senators received Stefan Elliott, who had played played in the AHL since 2016, previously playing for the Nashville Predators, along with Tobias Lindberg, who played six games with the Maple Leafs in 2016. The Penguins received McCoy Urkamps, who was playing for the Brampton Beast in the ECHL, now playing for the wilkes bear Scranton Penguins in the AHL, along with Ben Sexton, who is a member of the Senators' AHL farm team, the Belleville Senators. As for predictions, our first game is between Detroit and Toronto, a nice original six game that I think the hot Toronto team will get the better of. With the morale of Nylander, making a return as previously talked about and being placed on the same line as Austin Matthews and Patrick Marlowe, this will be dangerous. Along with the Red Wings' lack of depth on their defense with the injury situation and with starting goaltender Jonathan Bernier tonight, the Red Wings would have to work extra hard to keep their defense in line against this committed Maple Leafs team. Colorado's coming off a loss to Pittsburgh, but can easily bounce back against the Panthers, who have had their problems getting points from their best skaters like Alexander Barkov and Mike Hoffman, who they expect from, with the exception of Tuesday's game against the Bruins. With the Blue Jackets having a lot of scoring this past week, they should be able to keep their offense going against a struggling Flyers team. With the discourse going on behind the scenes in Philadelphia with the uncertainty of their goaltender situation under their new GM, their focus is aside. Might have to work hard just to keep the Blue Jackets from running up the score. These two teams know each other pretty well, and the Islanders are still performing better than expected with former Stanley Cup champion Barry Trotz in their corner, but the Penguins are coming off a big win in Colorado and will keep the momentum going at home. The second of a home-and-home series between Montreal and Ottawa, I believe the end result will be the same, with the Canadians demonstrating that they can get around Craig Anderson and outscore the Senators. The defense will need to step up for Ottawa if they have any chance tonight. We haven't seen this matchup since round two of the Stanley Cup playoffs this past spring, but I think Boston will get the better this time. With the Lightning having trouble with Detroit on Tuesday night, the offense is going to need to get pucks to the slot if they want any chance to get ahead of the hot offensive lines of the Bruins. With Minnesota and Calgary, both of these teams are a decent group of players, but Minnesota hasn't been the greatest this last 10 games, whereas Calgary has. Along with scoring nine goals against Columbus two nights ago, their offense will win the game for them over Minnesota. The Capitals will likely only have problems against the hot goaltender Arizona. Arizona has in tonight with Aiden Hall, but the Capitals' offense will have to work their own magic as they do so they can come up on top. The Coyotes will keep it close, though, with Phoenix Copley being in net for Washington, and his inexperience in the shadow of Braden Holpe will leave much to be desired despite the imminent win. The Canucks are running into one of the hottest goaltenders in the league with their only offense coming from Bo Horvat and Elias Pettersson, and Nashville will have a lot of room to create offense to gather the points tonight. Still adjusting to the new coaching staff, Chicago hasn't been great, and the opposite is going on with Vegas as they finally fixed what was going wrong for them at the beginning of the season and have been winning quite a bit more as of late. The last prediction coming from LA and New Jersey, where I think Jersey will get the better in this late match. Things have been going better for the Kings since Jonathan Quick returned from injury, but Keith Kincaid has been more of a solid goaltender than before, getting quite a bit of shutouts recently, so this should cause LA to have some problems. Lose for Hughes is still a thing, by the way, for the Kings, but hey, it's still early. As for stats, the same from yesterday with Ranton leading in points and assists, who has a chance to get more tonight against Florida. Line A leads in goals, and Brody leads in plus minus. As for goalies, all of these goalies are in net tonight, Rene likely to play well, Anderson and Fleury included. And hockey fans, don't forget to vote for your captains of the 2019 All-Star Games in San Jose, California this January. All-Star Weekend this year is January 25th through January 27th, 2019. Be sure to vote a maximum of 10 times per day for captains of all four divisions to be entered in a sweepstakes to join the NHL All-Star Weekend in a trip for two, all expenses paid in San Jose this winter. The link to vote is in the description below. 
Thanks for watching this newest edition of the Hockey Bar series, and I hope you stick around for tomorrow's Friday edition. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the daily updates. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Tierden Smith. Have a great night.